<laughs> hey guys, um, I'm gonna make a before video for um, some decluttering that I'm doing. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have lots of health stuff, but one of the things is gastroparesis. It's a stomach disorder, which basically my stomach doesn't empty properly, and so there's lots of issues that are caused by that. Um, one of the things, it, I guess two of the things, one is that I fluctuate weight very dramatically. Um, I remember before I was diagnosed, like probably seven years ago, I would say things like, um, I want to maintain weight within like a 30, 40 pound range. People are like, what? And I didn't understand why that was so strange. Because for me, maintaining weight literally has always been like 30 to 40 pounds is great maintenance. <laughs> uh, the more dramatic example is that um, when I was in seventh grade, I had a 14 BMI. And then like by 10th grade, I think, I think it was 10th. It might have been 11th. I had like closer to 25 BMI. Um, so I just, I, I fluctuate a lot. And like when I was 14, doctors thought I was anorexic and like, I get misdiagnosed like crazy and just like stuff like that. So, um, my weight fluctuates a lot with also the second thing that goes along with that is that I, I bloat a lot. Um, if you want to Instagram the hashtag gastroparesis FF, um, you can see one of my pictures I documented, um, a day, <laughs> like when I was bloating even more, um, and it's like, I was. I could be three to four pant sizes in one day, um, just based on, uh, bloat. So as you can imagine, I used to be like 30, 40 pounds was my summer to winter weight. Cause I usually exercise a lot in the summers. Um, but also I'd have more migraines. And so, um, I didn't eat as much or keep as much down. Um, and, and then winters I would gain that back up from school, just sitting all day and then, um, not being outside all the time. So, um, so I still have clothes that go back to high school <laughs> um, and I have clothes through like several different sizes. And so I am, um, and then also I was just pregnant, um, which I didn't really have to buy much for pregnancy, just a few, a couple pairs of pants and a few shirts. And then now I have a nursing wardrobe. Um, so I, I have a lot of clothes because I've kept hold of things because usually um, like two different sizes for summer and two different sizes for winter is not... Um, is not strange for me to need. And, um, it's just kind of every year. So I have a ton of clothes. Um, I am, go I've gotten rid of, I think three or four bags, like grocery, a uh, trash bag size, small, well, not the black ones, but the like kitchen size trash bags, um, already. And I still have a ton. So this is the before and ideally I'll have an after video. <laughs> um, we will see. Um, but I'm also going through kind of like my art style, my art, um, like my aesthetic, the things that I love and I'm drawn to and what I think I look best in, what I wear the most, all of those different things and narrowing down. Um, like not that I want my clothes to match my artwork or be based on it, but I think the colors that I use in a lot of my art are colors that I like and just have wear and always have been drawn to. And so I think um, in some sense, I think those colors will line up and I'm using my art style and like um, my branding to kind of like see what my personal style is. And my thinking is when I pair things down quite a bit, I'll see if it still lines up. If it doesn't, I'll trash that idea. If it does, I'll stick with it. Um, and that'll also kind of help me determine what I buy and don't buy. Um, also, like along with health, I have on stomach disorder. I also have migraines. And so things like um, staying cool but keeping my neck warm. Um, if I get too hot, um, which can mean walking out into the sun on a 70 degree day, um, can be defined as too hot. <laughs> and if my neck gets cold, so wind specifically, but like icing my neck is okay. So like very distinct things that, um, impact wardrobe as well. I'll keep those, those will be kind of like priorities, but within that, yeah. So I think also, um, I want to, I'll have like breastfeeding tops this coming year for sure. And I'll probably have a second wardrobe that I keep that's a little bit smaller than what I am now. And then will be non-nursing friendly tops. Um, so that's, I do plan to keep a second wardrobe. So I'll have what I can wear now currently, which should transition into whether I gain weight or lose weight um, next. And then also I'll have a second one in storage that is, are things that are too small now, but uh, and are also not nursing friendly. I do expect to lose weight over the next um, year or so. Um, if I'm wrong, I, to some extent I don't have control over it, but usually when we have kids and just, um, I do tend to be more active and just kind of ignore migraines sometimes. And I think kids are going, I think he is going to impact that. So that's my guess. Um, and yeah, so 
those are my thinking. Those are my thoughts. I'll give you a – I have a bunch of stuff out of the closet and just like um, – I've taken everything out of storage as well. So this is like everything. But it's a lot. It's it's ridiculous. I, like I am a freaking hoarder when it comes to clothes and art supplies. Um, after clothes, art supplies is my next area to tackle. Um, we'll see. I'm hoping to get through clothes this summer. And then art supplies um, maybe fall. Maybe before. I've started now too. I've given away um, – a really cool tote bag that I use for art lessons. But I have other bags, so I don't need it. Um, full of art supplies. And then a couple other... Well, I've been doing like gift bags full of art supplies. Um, yeah. So I think that's that's kind of where I'm at. I'm just getting rid of a ton of stuff. So I'll show you what the piles are. And there you go. Thinking is actually showing people will help me to be embarrassed and... Um, and uh, yeah, get rid of things. <laughs> so this, these are pants that this pile, they almost fit. Um, they fit before I was pregnant and like I can wear them, but I wouldn't want to wear them all day. Um, so they're all things that can get on and are fine, but are not, not comfortable. So they're going to go in the bottom drawer. A couple of those will go in the top drawer. The top drawer is stuff that fits currently. Um, I haven't checked those three pairs yet. The top drawer is like about half full. Um, these shorts fit, so they'll go on the top. Those pants I'm assuming fit. I haven't tried them on yet, so they'll go on the top. And I have a couple of capris. So this is a ton of pants. The top drawer is going to be stuff that fits now. The bottom will be stuff that, um, should fit by the end of, um, summer. And also is going to be more cool weather stuff as well. Um, what's in the top, um, so they look full because I've just shoved things in there. Um, like that, the top pink one is like half full and that's a shirt that I'd like, probably keep for... I love the colors of it, but I'm, it has holes in it that I've patched. And then, so anyways, 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 you don't need to know the exact details. Um, a couple of things are, so those top two drawers are probably going to be art clothes. Um, that is travel bags. And then it's just a bunch of plastic bags I use for travel because we don't really have plastic in, in Washington anymore. Um, the bottom one is an art thing that I wear. I'm upcycling it. I know it's a mess. Um, and those are like, um, sweat zip up sweaters that I really like, um, that I think are cool, but I'm, they're probably going to be too young. So I'll probably get rid of them. Um, eventually I haven't yet. So there's that. This is the pile of stuff that I love. Maybe not love, but, um, this is what I'm gonna try to get the things that I'll keep that are not breastfeeding friendly and are a little small in that tub. Um, the bottom bin here is mostly empty actually. Um, there's a blanket that fell off the bed onto that. That one actually has athletic stuff in it. Um, I'll probably get rid of some of it. I hate the feeling of cherry fiber, tire, whatever that is. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of that yoga towel blanket. So if you want one, let me know. Um, this is a bag to donate. This is a bag to get rid of. Um, also with my jeans, I have a ton that are really thin. So all of the thin ones, if I can see through it, except for the, like the, that top pair, I can, like, if I can see light coming through it all, um, when I hold it up to a window. So it's, um, I'm getting rid of them. Um, so that's the same with those jeans. They fit, but they, they see light through. These are, that bottom thing is my pajamas. Um, and again, a lot of this I've just kind of like throw, organized, taken out of drawers, organized, taken out of storage. Uh, not organized, but like organized into piles-ish. Um, the bottom one here is winter clothes. That's, it's about half full. Um, I got rid of some of it already. That little pile is sweaters that I really do like and a couple tank tops that I've pulled out to put out for summer. Um, the top drawer is a lot of t-shirts. I have so many t-shirts, you guys. I have so many t-shirts. It's terrible. Um, oh, also another thing with my new wardrobe is going to be primarily ethical, um, brands that I love and have been researching and then also thrifted or what I currently have. This one is tank tops. Um, I believe that is seasonal. So I have like a red, white, and blue thing. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. This one I emptied. Yay. These are scarves that I like. Um, I got rid of some scarves that I don't like. I used to wear head scarves every day, um, when I was doing protective styles and growing out my hair and I still wear headbands and scarves a ton. So I will keep probably an excessive amount of those and be very okay with it. These are belts and a couple winter scarves for snowboarding, like, a uh, face masks for snowboarding, but also they work for the pandemic. So we'll see what I, I don't know what'll happen with those. Um, Halloween costumes are in the beginning. Why are they in the closet and not in storage? I don't know. Um, jackets jean jacket, denim jacket, a couple thrifted, um, my Seahawks apparel. And actually those jackets don't currently fit. So I don't know what to do with that. This will go in the winter bin, the two 
jewel toned. And I have two hangers of nursing tops, uh, tank tops. And the rest are things that I do actually really like. Um, I'm still figuring out how to nurse in just a bigger shirt. So they'll, <laughs> I'll start wearing them more. Oops, kid just spit up on me. Of course he did. This is the life. Um, those are just dirty laundry pajamas, um, primarily. Uh, hoodie, sweatshirt. These are like top layers for cardigans, which I do plan to have a lot of cardigans because they change size. And then dresses. I did get rid of two maternity specific dresses that are too big and I'm not, ho I'm hoping I don't fit into them. And they, I can't nurse in them because of the style. So they're, they're, yeah. So I've got rid of those. Um, that's just one giant blanket hoodie that I love, but I'm gonna put it in storage for the winter. That's my winter storage box, swimsuits, purses. Um, that's, these two are, the first one is winter sweaters and jackets and then the last one is all ethnic clothing so i'll for sure keep all of those they're um like different for different um different things events like i have a couple saris and um some an indian clothes that i block printed and um gifts as well so um that's my half of the closet then socks and underwear anyways there's my closet there you go there's the whole thing this is the in progress haha <laughs> there's my clean laundry um yeah, this is the in progress, you guys. It is a mess. And it's a little shameful and embarrassing. Um, but it it really is reflective of the physical changes. Um, and emotional to less extent. Um, but emotional changes over the last 10 years. Um, yeah, so there you go. There's my admittance, admittance to uh, embarrassing clothing hordes. So, okay, take care. Thanks, guys. Bye.